Kim Gae-hwan, North Korea's former top nuclear envoy, ridiculed South Korea to be out of place, mistaking its role as a mediator between Pyongyang-Washington relations. Kim, currently a foreign ministry advisor in North Korea, strongly warned South Korean President Moon Jae-in to no longer meddle in North Korea-U.S. relations. This came after Chung Yi-yong, the director of South Korea's presidential office, Chung Wa-de's national security office, told reporters that U.S. President Donald Trump had asked Moon to deliver a congratulatory message to Kim Jong-un in commemoration of the North Korean leader's birthday on January 8. After returning from a trip to Washington, D.C. on January 10, Chung said that the South had conveyed the USA's birthday messages to the North. In the meanwhile, President Moon declared his plans to resume full-scale efforts for dialogue with North Korea and to resume inter-Korean projects. But a day after Chung Yong's encounter with reporters, North Korean Foreign Ministry advisor Kim Gae-hwan said that the North had earlier received the congratulatory message directly from Trump. Kim said the South authorities had sent Trump's message in an extremely urgent notice with the lack of knowledge that the North and the U.S. had a special liaison channel between the top leaders. In a statement translated into English and carried by the country's state-run Korean Central News Agency, Kim further criticized the Moon administration to be still having lingering hope for playing the role of mediator in the DPRK-U.S. relations. Kim added it is somehow presumptuous for South Korea to meddle in the personal relations between Chairman of the State Affairs Commission Kim Jong-un and President Trump. Such statement is suggesting that North Korea is planning to talk only with Washington and bypass Seoul in future negotiations. Chung Wa-de has not responded yet to Kim Gae-hwan's public statement that ridiculed South Korea's mediator role and is simply waiting for Pyongyang's response to Moon's overtures in his New Year's address. As of now, the North Korean Foreign Ministry advisor has made no mention of Moon's proposal to rejuvenate inter-Korean relations in any statement. Until more updates, please subscribe to our channel. This is Grace Shin from Korea Now.